boost to get. <laughs> <laughs> Now, oh, not a little bit now. Now, hey, someone killed a moose there. Chill you here today. Well, not a good way to start the day. Now this rope can't stretch, so this plate can't can't go back past there. Now, let's see could that hold up. Me and the wife come across this here yesterday. Uh, when we were out moose hunting, uh, she got to work today, so I just come out for uh, do a little scout around. Uh, I'm gonna set a couple of wolf snares, uh, and then I might do a little bit of smoke fishing before I go back. We'll see how it goes. I just circled around right there, and I just come along. And I just backed the, the toboggan back there a little bit. Not really a good thing to do with a broken reach, but I'm gonna stay in the box. I'm not gonna get off the screw, and I'm gonna get one snare right there. I'm not gonna get off my toboggan. You see a wolf went in through there. So to spend a bit of time around here, there's moose on this island. So, so I'll spread around a few snares and hopefully we'll uh, connect. Got a rabbit snare here. I'm gonna I'm gonna use to uh, keep the, the wolf snare in place here. All right, I got one set there. Uh, too hard on toboggan back in their back like that with the reach broke so I went on out and I hooked her and now I'm just gonna work from uh, the bag of the skidoo here and uh, we see it's a nice big wolf track right there and I only took a half a dozen snares with me uh, I never had any so I uh, so I picked up these from uh, Fur Master Jim so I get these six out and uh, rest of my snares is out to the cabin so I Owl pitched there or something. Yeah, uh, last year now uh, I killed my moose not too far from here, so I come in around scouting around, see what's time to go here now. I tell you, it's pretty uh, frosty this morning, uh, close to minus 40, I suppose, with the wind chill. I've been pretty mauled years, so so it's all right to get a bit of a frost now. Hopefully, make the ice good. Uh, at least it was bad, you know, late freezing up the air and so never really gives us a chance to get moose hunting earlier. Uh, we was off yesterday, but seeing a little bit of sign, but, but not a lot. I got the toboggan hooked on there again now and I just drove through this little neck of woods here and I drove by a stick here that's big enough to tie a snare off on and I'm going to put a snare here uh, I'm going to stay in the toboggan and sometimes you know especially after you get a little dust in the snow wolves likes to walk on old skidoo pets sometimes sometimes they'll walk on them sometimes they'll avoid them so I just drove through I'm going to stay in the toboggan sit a snare here and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully it works out Bit of fresh moose sign around right here. Well, let's hope, uh, hopefully, this ain't too thick.
Oh, I'm a, oh, I had a buit that time, though. I was just going to say it's here for 20 minutes or so. I never had near buit. And I soon I'm going to leave because, uh, you know, I might have all kinds of trouble with that reed shit before I get back. And that could take some time. And I got some permic and new tan. I want to get back and get those clean now for our supper. Well, we made it back. Down in the minus 30s. So anyway, uh, I got another toboggan that I could use and uh, but I'll uh, get them all welded up. And uh, tomorrow morning I say I'll be moving something with the wife again. But for now I got to clean those parm again, get those in the pot. And uh, Try and tie out some. <laughs> Wife come down here in truck. She's gonna park the truck and she's gonna get on the screw here with me then. And this is the beginning of another moose hunt. Well, what a beautiful morning. And what a sight to behold. A big moose there by the skidoo. Early this morning, Jill drove down near the Mud Lake Road there in truck and uh, I picked her up on skidoo and we come on it to uh, Pertridge Island Channel and we just went over to the other side there and started to trim the well we stopped there for a little bit got ready in that and then uh, we trimmed that down along the shoreline here because yesterday out in these altars there was a moose there and I seen the tracks where we just went on into the woods there again and sure enough when we come down along he was out there again and so he come on out here on the east a little bit and we just trimmed in along kept in line in by the tweet woods there and from over that way Jill fired out and got her first moose. So everything happened so fast. There's just no way to get the camera out. It's my old buddy Curtis there. That's uh, who was with me when we got the moose over there, Pertridge John. And you, yeah, get the screw up long and we'll throw half in one box and half in the other. Now get the tags on them. Putting in the boxes. And we're out of here. I'm going to come back later and get some of that and drag over to. Uh, a sight there, uh, Tailfield Wolf's in here. We take them off <laughs> for the whole world to see. <laughs> oh shit, I wasn't recording. Oh, no. Was it? Was it? No. Joe, boy, you're shot. <laughs> no, no, I was. Keep out of here for wolf sits. I got my uh, smaller toboggan today. The reach is broke on the other one. So I got half in there in the head, and we got the other half over in Curtis's box here. Oh, face froze right there, guys. Don't take long these temperatures. I think mine is froze too. I have a look. Is it? It's sweating. Where to? Oh yeah, there is it. Put your hand on. That's sweating, you know what? They're all moose, so you gotta be careful. No trouble. What's the temp this morning anyway? I don't feel so cold as it was yesterday. No, I didn't. What a fantastic morning we just had. Whew. Ooh, nice and warm in here. Look at this. I don't know if I should eat the moose or eat their pants. <laughs> That's it. I'll try to look. Get the job done and get home as quick as you can, but it's cold out there. Uh, what I'm not sure. In the minus 30s with wind chill for sure, I suppose. <clears throat> now, hot coffee first. Thank you. 
the jewels are going to help, help turn into the feather. I think next year I was saying I might upgrade the old meat side. <laughs> but I mean, I'm after cutting up a lot of meat in this one, you know? <laughs>